Hello guys, today we'll be looking at three link cylindrical robot. We'll be looking at DH convention to find out the forward kinematics of an RPP robot that is rotation in one axis, prismatic join in the other and another prismatic join that is RPP. For rotation we have theta 1, for prismatic 1 we have D2 and for prismatic 2 we have D3. This is the basic three link cylindrical robot. Now let's look at it. The link length. The link length is not specified and can vary and that's why we have given it as zero. Looking at the alpha i, we know that the first one, that is the first link, that is the link one, is not rotated since we have z0 and z1, x1 and x0 and y0 and y1 in the same frame. That is, we give out alpha i equals to 0. When we look at the frame 3 with respect to frame 2, we see that there has been a rotation since Z2 has rotated minus 90 degree because it has rotated clockwise direction with respect to X and that's why our alpha i, that is alpha 2, will be minus 90 degree. Similarly, the fourth frame respect to the second with respect to the third frame is not rotated and that's why our alpha 3 will be 0. Now look at the value of di. di is the offset value. In this question, I have assumed that the first one is you know displaced or offset value as d1 you can put it as 0 and you'll still find the right answer but sometimes in this question since I've assumed it as to be di it can be given in the question that di is there so if it's not given you go ahead and put it at 0 since the second link has a prismatic joint we have d2 value and since it is variable since it's moving we star mark it Similarly, for the third link, we have D3 and it's star mark because it's a prismatic joint and again it's a variable. Similarly, for theta value, that is the joint angle, we have that it is rotated by an angle of theta, that is since a rotational joint, we have theta 1 as variable. The rest of it are 0 since they don't have a rotational joint. So this is our basic information which we'll be needing to formulate A1, A2 and A3. Now let's look at it. A1. We find out that since we don't have a value of alpha here and A, the rotational matrix is really simple. And similarly for A2, we only have to substitute the value of alpha, that is minus 90 degree. D2 is star marked. And similarly for A3, we have D3 as star marked. Now let's look at what T1 with respect to 0 frame is A1, since that is the homogeneous transformation. For T2 with respect to 0, we have A1 into A2 because we have to link both the frames. Similarly, for T3 with respect to 0 is A1 into A2 into A3. You go ahead and do it on your own, find out this matrix and the forward kinematics is there. Thank you. I hope you guys understood. For any queries, please comment below. Thank you. Robometrics.